Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Americans for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain, ADHRB, with the support of the Salam Foundation, would like to note with particular concern the deteriorating human rights situation in Bahrain. Despite having made commitment to the international community to improve the status of human rights in the country, Bahrain has continued to violate the universal human rights of its citizens through the ongoing use of torture, arbitrary detention, restriction on the freedom of assembly, expression, and the press, and by placing great restraint on civil society and human rights defenders. We would like to highlight a number of cases that represent the ongoing systematic human rights challenges in Bahrain like Taqil Maidan, who has been sentenced for 10 years, met allegation of torture, and, and also the 10-year-old 10 10 child, Jihad al samih and a well-known journalist, Mr. Ahmed Fardan, the well-known human rights defenders, Nabir Rajab, Abdul Hadi Al-Khwaja, Mr. Hassan Mshema, Mr. Abdul Wahab Hussein, with a grave concern, the two cases of Mr. Mahir Abbas and Mr. Ali Tawil, who has been sentenced to death. In addition to these cases relating to the alleged torture of children and journalists, Bahrain, Bahrain's prison have become severely overcrowded with more than 3,500 political prisoners. Many of these prisoners were convicted, convicted under Bahrain's terrorism law on charges of illegal protest used to restrict the exercise of free expression and assembly. The case of human rights in Bahrain is urgent. ADHRB urges the Council to work with the Bahrain government to take concrete steps to improve the status of human rights in the country. These steps should include the release of all political prisoners, full and immediate cooperation with the various UN special procedures, and the establishment of a permanent OHCHR office in Bahrain with a full reporting and investigatory mandate. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.